Perfect. So these are just a few of the guys we got released. Devin White, we got Rob, Melvin Gordon, we got Cole Beasley, we got Bryce Hall, we ended up getting Chris Alave who's sitting down there. Welcome to Tips Gamers and today we are going to be doing a trade glitch and showing you all how to do it. This is our tried and true method. Some of you guys may know this method, it's called the SAR. For all of you guys who have been subbed to us for a long time, been seeing this method, welcome back. And if you guys don't know what the SAR is, it's called the Stack and Release, so we just named it the SAR to make it easy. So, it still works, it's fun, um, Madden changed up some things with it, but we'll show you guys, and we're going to fine-tune it as well. Uh, you guys already know, if you follow our channel, if you have for a while, this is the kind of stuff that we like doing to systems. So anyways, without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, guys, so first and foremost, don't go into someone's league who doesn't want this done and destroy their league. That's not what this method is intended for. Ask the commissioner if you guys can do this method, if this is good. If not, uh, you're probably going to get kicked out and banned from the league. So keep that in mind. We also did not intend for people to go in and, and be bullies into someone's league. This is intended for someone to be able to enjoy their Madden and be able to pick up the coolest team that they could pick up. I mean, you're basically going to be able to get a bunch of superstar young players. I mean, you're going to be set up for life with doing this method. Now, we're going to fine-tune it, like we mentioned. Uh, so just know there will be more videos coming. Also, make sure to check out our Minecraft pack. i got to throw that in there because our Minecraft pack, we worked hard on it. And uh, you guys should check it out. Also, we have another company as well, our sister company, our sister site. It's clublevelsports.com. Make sure to check it out. Make sure to go to the YouTube channel as well and subscribe to it. We're going to get content ready for that channel, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, so with that being said... The first thing you have to make sure with the SAR is you have to make sure you are in the regular season. Okay, if you're not in the regular season, you're wasting your time. If you're doing it in the off season, the preseason, you're wasting your time. So one massive thing with this method, uh, those of you guys who are OGs to this channel, you guys know this. You have to trade for a draft pick. Do not trade for a player when doing this. If you do that, you will fail. And another big thing too is you cannot do it with a player who's injured. Okay, so if you're trying to do it for like TJ Hawkinson because he has that crazy mullet, uh, you can't do it. All right, so I'm the Houston Texans right now, and I just picked up a bunch of low overall players on the free agency. Cheaper, the better. And that's what you want to think. You want to get low overall players. Now, I'm going to be looking for dupes because I'm not going to be able to get the starting guy, at least not with what we're showing you right this second. In the future, yes. More than likely, yes. However... Like, I'd be looking at Kareem Hunt, right? So, I would go to, like, trade for Kareem Hunt. Many of you guys already know this, uh, those who follow us. You know, we're going to try to give you guys a little bit more nutrients with this. But I'd add up three guys like this, and it's actually pretty interesting, like, what's been happening with the SAR. And I would ask for a seventh-round pick. Now, obviously, ask for whatever you can, but basically, I'm glitching the system. Okay, I'm making the system have to decide between which player to drop. And then you're going to see the free agency players. So there's you're going to see them on free agency. So now I can sign them. All right. So Kareem Hunt will be sitting there on free agency for you. And you're going to want to look for dupes, you know, like quarterbacks, wide receivers. It's all like a weird and interesting thing of how Madden uh, tried to stop the SAR this year. You know, they tried to stop several of our methods. And uh, they definitely did not stop at the SAR. But they made it more interesting with the SAR. Okay, so here's an interesting one we want to show you guys here. Uh, the Denver Broncos. So the Denver Broncos are sitting with two pretty good halfbacks. They got Melvin Gordon the third. They got Javante Williams. Javante Williams is a star development. Okay, and they're so close to overall uh, that they should release Melvin Gordon. But they got to release one of them. Okay, which one is the question? I'm assuming, yes, Melvin Gordon. Because of the fact that his overall, uh, his age, it's all a combination. So the Broncos decided... That, okay, we have to release someone. We're going to release the older guy. However, what's cool about this is now you can pick him up and use him for more SAR. You can use also Kareem Hunt for more SAR. But you can also use these guys for trading purposes to go get first-round picks, to, you know, pad them up. And then you could just wave trade them again and just drop the player. Uh, because that's the cool thing about these guys is these guys have, you know, amazing value. Um, and you could get, you know, like Kareem Hunt here. He's got really good value. He's got green all across the board, and we got him for free with like, you know, 60-something overall. So this is also something that you need to be thinking about, and we'll show you 
more in-depth ways to in the future of really how to utilize this to the nth degree. A really good team to try this with too is the Saints. So I wanna see how this goes with the Saints uh, because they got some really good guys. Typically a team is gonna have around six wide receivers. Okay, so we wanna make them drop at least three of these guys. Now, you know, I'm not too hell bent that if, if Callaway gets dropped that I'm gonna be super sad. I'm hoping Chris Olave gets dropped. I don't think they will. I think they drop Hardy over him, um, but you know, let's figure it out. Let's see who they drop out of this. Once again, not a player. Let's go to the pick and let's see. So they don't have a seventh round pick of this the next year. They have a seventh round pick of this current year. So, you know, go for the sevenths. Um, they're weird with the picks this year. So, but let's see who they dropped. So they dropped Chris Olave. Cool. Um, and I like that. That's a weird one though, because I just didn't expect them to drop Chris Olave. I mean, just why would you drop Chris Olave? But hey, we got Chris Olave for free, so I'll take it. So the Dolphins have Tua and Teddy Bridgewater, but you want to think about value is value, right? Like Jake Fromm is showing yellow interest. So quarterbacks are extremely valued this year. They were last year as well, but this year there's a lot of umph to them. I mean, a six round pick for guys that are just terrible. I got Tua. Uh, released from the Dolphins you know and it's just good value you want to think about stacking up the value this year because they're overvaluing a lot of different players um, and draft picks as well I mean it's like last year but it seems like they they kind of bumped it up even more so another thing you do is you can trade for a guy like Garrett Bowles you know you don't want the overall too low you want it just high enough for this to work and we traded you know Howard uh, Driscoll and a fifth round pick so wasn't all that much so the player i really want to get here is akeem uh this guy is a beast absolute beast now you could try to trade him straight up like this and you know it's not going to work so the next step of what i would do is just try and do the sar with him but since it's garrett bowles obviously got to ask for a little bit more i highly doubt they do a second round pick but they did so that was a lot quicker uh, than what I thought they would but remember always ask for more I'm doing a video here so I'm not like going you know fine-tuning to the nth degree but if this was my own personal you know team that I'm rebuilding then yeah I would definitely do that I would ask for a first and then I would ask for a second then I would ask for a second and a third and I would just go down the list so I'm going to start thinking out of the box here with the SAR okay so I know I got Kareem Hunt for free using the SAR. I got Melvin Gordon for free using the SAR. I also got a second round pick for free because I got Garrett Bowles back. So if I could trade these guys to the Panthers, uh, that would be great. I would even do it for a first. I would try to do it for a first of next year. Um, you know, I don't know if this is gonna work. Okay, so it did, it worked. But what do I know also about this? I know that I just traded two halfbacks to the Panthers who have Christian McCaffrey. So there's Kareem Hunt and Melvin Gordon just sitting there. Don, Deontay Foreman, too, who's an absolute beast. By the way, on the Titans, you screwed up not giving them the ball and the playoffs. Okay, so here I would just try and trade for a seventh-round pick because I don't think these guys are uh, that good. They don't even have faces, a few of them. Uh, so then I would trade that seventh-round pick. And I know, you know, I got my halfbacks back. Okay, so that's another thing uh, that you have to just think about. You know, however you can maneuver it, maneuver it. There's plenty of ways to do it. So a guy who is perfect to do this with is definitely on the Eagles. And it's the big monster. Okay. It's Jordan Davis. Because if they give me Fletcher Cox, I don't care. I'll take Fletcher Cox for free. I have no issue with that at all. Uh, but they didn't. So they gave me Jordan Davis, uh, which is awesome. And I could use Jordan Davis to trade... Uh, and I could also pick him up and like trade him away for a guy who I refer to a team who I know has a D tackle uh, that's a higher overall, you know, in the, and this is another one that's perfect right here is Deron Payne. And I'll pick these guys up as well. I'm going to go grab some free agency players and pick these guys up and get one of these guys. So the commanders had no money. So I traded them. Allen, remember, you got to do a straight up trade quarterback for quarterback to to clear up a uh, cap room for him. And now I can trade the D tackles that I've been wanting to trade to him to pick those other guys up because these guys are a little bit expensive. But since their overall is a little bit higher, you know, I tried to ask for a fourth round pick. They said, no, 
I'd go for just fine. Give me a fifth round pick. I don't really care. I just wanted to go through and it got accepted. And now I got some more D tackles, but I could trade like, let's say I take, you know, uh, Jordan Davis and then I trade him to a team that has some D tackles. It'll hurt the value a little bit. I won't be able to get the best of the best. Uh, but you could do that and kind of have like a method going because you know you can get the guys back. Certain positions like quarterbacks, you're going to get a lot of value for it, but you also got to be very careful. You just got to look at the, the overall. You got to look at the player, and you got to go from there. The Buccaneers are a great team to do this with too. I mean, any dupes that you find, uh, this is perfect here. Because uh, if I could get Devin White, you know, and get a third round pick, I probably could have gotten a second as well. But I did. I got Devin White. Uh, I gave up Harris. Oh, well, I'm not going to cry about it. Uh, that was a good deal for me. So these are just a few of the guys we got released. Devin White. We got Rob, Melvin Gordon. We got Cole Beasley. We got Bryce Hall. We ended up getting Chris Alave, who's sitting down there. I'm not picking all these guys up right at the second because... I don't want to, and I'm not going to rebuild with this team right this second. Uh, if you guys want us to rebuild with this team, we could definitely do that. Uh, Houston Texans would be a fun rebuild. Uh, we ended up getting Kareem Hunt. Uh, we ended up getting Chris Alave, like we already told you. And, uh, you know, several guys. Akeem, we ended up getting through the SAR. Uh, we got a pretty good, oh, and I traded for Evan Neal by using Rob. Um, and it was just, it was easy. That's what the SAR can do for you. I mean, it's just insane. We ended up getting Payne. We ended up getting Jordan Davis. Um, you know, plenty of guys. So, yeah, you guys can definitely utilize this, and you can get a lot out of it. If you want to see us do more content like this, you want to see us just mess with the computer, you want to see us do rebuilds, whatever you want to see, let us know in the comments below. I'm in her song. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far. It's like you lived a few lifetimes. Take off from a break off from the weak minds. They can stay soft. You can change lives. You create thoughts. Never waste time. You got one shot. You got one life. Better pop off. What do you like? Make a dream job.